Now, I'm leaning more on the side of no with this one, but we still got some fire questions to get into, so let's do it. Yeah, this feels like a dream. And you know just what I mean. You see my boy, he like got to made it, how to made it. Boy, he's a fan and he like the Ravens, like the Ravens. And you know just what I mean. YouTube team, keep it clean. What's going on? It's Engraven here with another video and another episode of NFL questions from subscribers, a series where you can ask me any NFL question you want to, and we answer it in a video just like this. If you want to be part of it, send me an email to teamkeepitclean at gmail.com. Don't send it anywhere else because your question won't be a part of it. Send it to teamkeepitclean at gmail.com or for the patrons, you can send it directly on Patreon. And if you want to become a Team Keep It Clean patron, by the way, shout out to all the Team Keep It Clean patrons. Appreciate y'all. And if y'all want to join them, you can go to patreon.com slash engravenvids. If you don't want to join them, you can stay exactly where you at. It is fine. It's still all love. Team Keep It Clean is actually a period of time right now where it's, it's quiet. We don't hear any craziness. It ain't all this just wild stuff going on. Because, you know, over these past couple of days, it's been nothing but crazy. Um, but it's all good. We've stuff has simmered down a bit. Um, but anyway, we got some fire questions like we always do. Team Keep It Clean, I love y'all. Let's do it. So the first questions came from my guy Chris K and Stefan M. Chris said, What's up, Team Keep It Clean? What's up? Uh, much love. Love the content. Appreciate it. Uh, but anyway, after the first two Dobbins and Hills holes were pretty much filled with Bell and Freeman, another big blow with Gus and Peters go down also. As far as the running backs, I was really hoping that they would sign Latavius Murray, someone that has had success last year. Uh, and boom, it worked out. Uh, it really does suck for our guys, and I really hope a speedy recovery for all of them. At least there was a group of vets to bring in not one, not two, but actually three replacements at running back. Actually, four with Trenton Cannon in there, too. Uh, that's unheard of. And in a limited role, I think they all have something left and they can hopefully play like a raven i'm, I'm sure they will uh okay my question is for replacing marcus peters and adding cornerback depth would you look at richard sherman and do you think they can bring him in also if you don't like richard sherman anyone out there that you would like to see as a raven again keep up the awesome content appreciate that chris all right my guy stefan he was just straight with it he said hey i got a quick question for you do you think we should sign richard sherman since peters is out for the season tell me what you think so anyway um richard sherman I, oof, Richard Sherman would be a no for me. I wouldn't be mad if they signed him, but, and I think worst case scenario, if somebody else, hopefully they don't, but if it did happen, then maybe they take a look. But I'm not sure what other corners are out there right now, along with Richard Sherman. But for Richard Sherman specifically, um, he isn't he more like a zone guy? And Ra Ravens are man heavy. They are a man-to-man -man team. Um, hey, one versus one, mano e mano, me versus you, cornerback versus wide receiver, man up, let's get it. That's their style. And with Richard Sherman, um, I just, I don't think he would be the best fit. Now, Richard Sherman has had a lot of success over his career. Um, and even over the past couple years with the 49ers, we know he had the injury with the 49ers and that slowed him up a bit. Uh, but Richard Sherman, still respectable name and whatnot. But if you play him, say, for instance, like one thing that I would be worried about, and not to say that it couldn't happen to anybody, because it could. It could. But one thing I'll be worried about, what, what if the Ravens run in cover zero? And y'all know, if I'm talking about cover zero, it must be something that's pretty simple, because y'all know I don't, I don't know plays like that. But what if they run in cover zero? So everybody man up, no safety help. Ev everybody just got a man. You stick with them, and they blitz him too. And Richard Sherman, one-on-one. -on -one, and he just so happy to match up with a guy that is uh, pretty fast. And Richard Sherman, his speed sort of fell off a bit over the years. Uh, what would happen if that happened and he just whew, got toasted? Toasted. I just, I don't know, man. Like I said, he, he's definitely not the worst cornerback in the world. Um, and I think push come to shove, if, if they had to bring him on, Wink would be able to scheme some stuff with Richard Sherman to try to, to make him not be a liability. Because, you know, Wink, he, he, he going to find a role for you. If, if you got to play, if you know how to play and you smart and you got some stuff, Wink going to find a role for you. So, you know what? I, I wouldn't even mind Richard Sherman so much because I, I feel like Wink, he will find a way to use him the right way. He will find a way to use him effectively. So, yeah, I guess I got to sort of change my answer and, and I wouldn't mind Richard Sherman. It wouldn't be my preference, but at the same time, I wouldn't mind him because I feel like Wink, 
they find a way to get it done. Next question came from my guy Gareth. He said, Hey, Graven, do you think it's looking like 2015 all over again? There's something going on because we are always healthy. I would love to know what you think. Hope you and the family are doing great. Shout out to Pookie. Shout out to Team Keep It Clean. Thank you for everything you do. Love you, bro. Appreciate it, Gareth. Um, 2015, no. I, I, I don't think it's going to be that. Ravens, they always have significant injuries every single year. Um, now, this year, they've been having them more than ever and earlier than ever. Uh, but they still have them literally every single year. Um, now, on this magnitude, I don't know about that part, but they still get them. But 2015, 5-11, do I think the Ravens are going to have a terrible record uh, while having all these injuries? No, I don't. Because the Ravens, they are, even despite the injuries, and they've had a lot of injuries, uh, but they are still in very good shape. They'll be getting some guys back. They'll be getting Jimmy Smith back any day now. They'll be getting Nick Boyle back uh, over the next month. They'll be getting Rashad Bateman back over the next month. They'll be getting Miles Boykin back over the next month. They did lose all the guys who ain't even got to go over the list. But I, I do not think it's going to be anything like 2015 as far as the record. I think the Ravens are still going to do good this year uh, because they are well-equipped uh, for this. And speaking of being well-equipped, uh, he said, we signed Le'Veon Bell. Uh, now, now that we signed him, do you think he adds value to the passing game? Because I've been watching his tape, and he's a really good route runner. Uh, sorry, it's been, been a minute since I last asked a question. Thanks for everything you do. You don't know how much your positivity has helped me. Uh, love you, bro, and team, keep it clean. Appreciate that, man. No, y'all y'all positivity helps me, man. Because y'all positivity, it, it, it shows through comments, through questions, uh, through messages, through all that stuff, man. It, it, it goes a super long way, man. So I appreciate y'all a lot. Um, now, as far as Le'Veon Bell, yeah, he certainly adds something to the passing game because he gives you a legitimate pass, passing threat coming out of the backfield. And not that J.K. and Gus Edwards and Justice Hill weren't those, but Le'Veon Bell is certainly is those. He is that. Um, and he gives you certified hands. It's like with Gus, he got hands, um, but he like caught a limited amount of passes like last year and really over the past couple of years. But Le'Veon Bell, <laughs> you keep throwing to him, he will keep catching and he has made a lot of play, a lot of uh, catches and under contact and whatnot. He's made it happen. So that is definitely a huge part of his game. And, and yeah, that's a lot of value added to the Ravens. Next question came from my guy, John R. He said, hey, Raven, been a while since I made a question. I will lay on Bell, Devontae Freeman, Latavius Murray, Tyson Williams. Don't forget Trenton Cannon. Uh, but he said, who is going to be the starter? Or at least get the majority of the plays. For pass plays, I believe it will be Latavius Murray as the main guy. But Le'Veon Bell can catch the ball as well. Also, asking this for fantasy football reasons, LOL. Thank you for the positivity uh, that you bring to my life on a daily basis. Uh, I appreciate that, man. Um, wow, thank you. Thank you, John. Um, I, uh, I, man, y'all just, y'all crazy, man. Y'all crazy with the support, man. Um, but I, I think the starter will be Tyson Williams. Reason I say Tyson Williams will be the starter uh, is because he has the most knowledge of the playbook. He has the most experience in the Ravens system. Now, as far as the main pass catching back, uh, early on, um, it could be Latavius Murray uh, and Tyson Williams, too. Can't sleep on him either. Um, but, yeah, it will be between those two. But as far as a starter, I'm going Tyson. Next question came from my guy, Raven Pride. He said, hey, Raven, hope you and the fam are good. I just want to get right to it. What we can't do is predict the future. What we can predict is that Lamar will not get any breaks from the media about his performance, even though they know how badly we are hurting at our skill positions. Yes, they say next man up, but if you're next man up hurt, then it really becomes a struggle. Yeah, that's true. He's, he's not going to get a, a pass, quote unquote, um, for everything, uh, but he should be in much better position than he was Last year, uh, one, the addition of Sammy Watkins, this one, to uh, Hollywood, another year stronger in Hollywood with his first offseason of his career. Because if we remember 2019, he was a rookie. He ain't have an offseason. Uh, he did play in the preseason uh, in the third game against the Washington football team where they put him on punt return. But then he's like, oh, OK, Hollywood, no, no, no more. Um, and, but he was hurt the, the entire offseason uh, and he was really hurt the entire year. Um, and then last year, of course, yeah, they didn't have any offseason at all. But anyway, my point, Hollywood should be stronger, better, more experienced. Uh, while Miles Boykin and Bateman, they're missing, uh, Proche and Duvernay. Last year, they didn't have an offseason. They've been looking a lot better. Uh, Tylen Wallace, um, he should be a, 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 a contributor. I don't think he's going to contribute so much, but I think he'll be 
a, a decent contributor. So his receiver room should be, it is more talented. Um, and now along with, uh, with, with Kiki and TT, uh, they should help make things move along that much smoother. So I do think Lamar, uh, regardless of all the injuries and whatnot, I still think he should have a pretty good year. And the last question on this episode of Question from Subs also came from my boy Ravens Pride. He said, uh, just a follow up on a Stephen A. Smith quote about what is and what's not an elite QB. First, I'd like to say, uh, may God continue to bless you and your family. Appreciate it, man. And he said, and you know we can't do it without his blessing. And boy, I sure know that. You ain't lying. Um, okay, now on with my thoughts to what Stephen A. Smith said. First of all, uh, to be an elite quarterback in this league, what you have to do is make the throws. Let me see. Lamar has done that. Remember the Jackson 5 he did during his MVP season? Well, he didn't just do one. I think he did like two or three, as a matter of fact. And he said the other thing about being elite is to be creative. Who's more creative and dangerous with the ball in their hands? May we say his name? Now, um, on this, is Lamar maybe just that good? Or maybe is he going to be perhaps this quarterback who will maybe just maybe take this quarterback thing to another level? And then they'll say he was special, but not elite. So with that, I say he will never be elite due to the fact that he wins his way love you bro appreciate it um no i like i said i i think lamar is he is definitely elite because if if lamar was not some elite quarterback do you think teams are really had to put in all this extra work <laughs> to to game plan around him if he was just some old regular whatever quarterback they it wouldn't nobody be worried about no lamar jackson if lamar jackson was not an elite quarterback why does his name just create so much controversy why does everybody get buzzing about him when you see Lamar Jackson? Why? For what? If he was just some old uh, whatever, then it, it wouldn't matter. This dude has just, um, he has just absolutely destroyed a, a lot of the narratives. Um, and in a lot of narratives, they're not going to go away, whether he destroys them or not. But he's shown what he can do, and he'll continue to show what he can do. Now, with Lamar Jackson, does he have his flaws as a quarterback? Yeah, of course he does. He certainly does. Uh, but is he an elite quarterback? Certainly, for sure. We talked about that in the last video, and we talked about that even without stats. Without stats. But there are numbers that show it, too. And the thing with Lamar, so many people get caught up on the passing yards. That's a big thing that a lot of people get caught up on. But with him, with Lamar Jackson... His touchdown and interception ratio is, is always pretty. It's a beautiful thing. But something that we got to always remember, too, this guy sits out so many fourth quarters of games, man. Just imagine. And I know it's a, it's a what-if scenario. But still, just imagine if Lamar Jackson would have played in a lot of these fourth quarters that he sits out because the Ravens be having these crazy leads. So he like, oh, okay, coach, like, all right, Lamar, come on. This, that's it. You're like, all right, cool. So this guy, like, <laughs> oh, we love Lamar. We're very grateful that we have Lamar Jackson as Ravens. 